by using the learned commands we've done some projects but right now we're gonna go through some other new commands I'm gonna start with patch so let's see what is patch and what does it do I'm gonna begin the lesson with a question here if we suppose that we got such a shape or such a geometry watch this a polygon and then I want you listen to the question carefully and then I sketch an arc here like this and when I'm talking about an example look at the process of sketching the example attentively since it can be reviewed so you hold down control for sketching the vertical line then I want to array the arc I select it to start array polar array I specify the center zero and then the number six well done here is the question here if I want to create a roof by using these three arcs which have been arrayed around the polygon I mean I'm gonna create a surface by using these arcs what should I do what, what is your suggestion what is your approach as far as we know we, we may use a surface but it does not work out since we got more than four edges we got six but we can operate a technique I mean we can join them we can join the arcs with each other so then we can have four edges so right now here we can have four edges after joining these arcs with each other but the result would won't be satisfying I surface then I select the curves watch this here is the given result I mean this is not the desired surface we want something else this doesn't meet our needs at such a condition we can use patch command let me explode the arcs again and then then you see we don't have to join them I type in the command line patch and then I start the command after that I should select the curves to fit surface through then I click on ok I will talk about the options later watch this here is a regular smooth surface created by patch but here you may want to modify the curveness or the sharpness of the curve but as you're concerned in the command of edge surface we can't control the curveness of a surface but in patch there is no limitation we can modify them actually by adding some auxiliary lines so then we can control the curveness for instance here I sketch a line here by this way as the auxiliary line as I told you before at first we sketch it straightly then we curve it watch this it affects on the curveness of the surface then I'm gonna array it at first let me select it I start the command of polar array and then the center zero number of the items three yes and then 364 fill angle watch this these are the main frame of our patch then i reduce the value of surface use pans i will talk about the general options 10 10 for both y and u here is the result well done again patch i select the curves and then I have reduced the value of surface spans. Okay, here is the given result and then the render preview. No, this is an accepted surface created by patch, which is more practical than edge surface. Here, if I sketch a closed non planar curve, how can we convert it to a surface or to a solid or extrude it? As you can see, it is non planar by this way its surface does not work out on this doesn't support this as such a condition we can use patch watch this well done in a very simple process we can create a surface by the non-planar closed curve two curves like this by this way and let me sketch a circle here by this way by doing this example, I'm gonna show you there is no limitation in creating surfaces by patch. As you can see here, we got three curves, three closed curves. Let's check out the result. I select them, patch. Let me increase the surface spans. Okay, check it out. As you can see, the other curves, for example, the circles, has got some effects on 
the patch or for instance suppose that we got a geometry like this let me extend it by this way and then if I patch this then this is the result check this out so but I'm gonna add some lines check this out by this way I sketch some straight lines I mean these are the auxiliary lines that can be used these lines for creating specific geometries or surfaces I move the control points upwards or downwards as you can see I'm designing the surface because there is no limitation in patch by this way then I start patch okay check this out and here is the result like a sink or in the next example patch can also work with the points I move this line to exemplify the next case then I put two points inside the curve then we're gonna see what will be the, the function of patch with these points or what is the reaction in patch then I create a surface check this out as you can see the points are the two extremes of the surface but this time if I enable record history as I talked about it before do you remember in blend actually blend curve I enable record history and then I patch the surface in order to save the points and the line then I can select the central point or point and then move it or even move it upwards can easily control the surface or down since record history has recorded the process of sketching so as we move the uh, points or even the lines it enables us to modify the surface and then it will be updated well done and sometimes you may have designed some geometries or some shapes which is not satisfying or that uh, doesn't meet your needs for example by these points I put it here I make a copy and then I put it here one more point again I adjust the position of the points here as you can see we got too many points so it is hard to create a surface by using these patch would support these but we are not satisfied with the given surface let me modify the position of the points to give you another example I remove the points and then I work on the curve then by the polyline I wanna design a strange form by this way then I move this downwards or the another one up now there is too much distance between them now by giving this example I wanna convey this message that patch does work out at any condition it has no limitation but the given geometry should meet our needs and like this if we do not design the curves of the patch or adjust the position of the points correctly or accurately then the result won't be satisfying as you can see it is not practical so we should sketch the curves of the patch accurately anyway uh, in the continuation I'm gonna talk about the general options or the settings of the patch I mean I'm talking about a span I create some copies from these curves and then I'm gonna give you some examples to show you the changes when we create surfaces by patch like these here in the patch surface options we got some settings one of them is surface U and Y spans but sample point spacing does that matter no it is not important for example I set two for u spans it is a low value or two for y spans or v actually let's check out the result so all in all we understood that the u and v spans are effective in a in creating a surface let us try the next curve i use patch but this time i set five for both surface v span v and u here as you can see the surface is more acceptable but this time I wanna specify a higher value for example 70 for both it takes a time since the size is large wait for a second check this out could you tell the differences let us compare them with each other these two 
Clearly, here we got more isolines or isocurves, but I'm talking about the effects on the form or the geometry of the surface. Here, as you can see, when we increase the spans, the value of spans, the created surface is more close to the curves, the created curve. I mean, it is created more accurately based on the given uh, frame or curves. Let me give you another example on these, so we can understand it deeply. Start patch. Let me hide these geometries, so we can focus on these. Patch. I select the curves, then enter. Three for U and V span. Okay, watch this. Here is the values tree. And then for the next one, next one I set 15. Okay, check this out. Let's check out the effects and the form of the geometry or the surface. Watch this. And for the third one, I set an uh, unreasonable value like 70 that we do not usually set. Wait for a second. Well done. Watch this. Rendered pre preview. Let us compare these three. Here the span value for the first one is 3. As you can see the surface is not uh, that much based on the given lines or curves. You know there is a distance. While um, in the second one, in the second surface, the surface is matched with the curves. So there are some ups and downs on the surface. And we also got them in the third one. So as we increase the value, the surface grows smoother and matched with the curves. And we usually specify, you know, a value between 10 to 15, which is considered as a reasonable value for the spans. But let's talk about the other options. So, let me start the command of patch, then I select these curves, I press down enter. So we talked about the surface spans, I set it to 10 by this way, well done. Here there is an important option which is automatic trim. You should know that patch gives us trimmed surfaces. And when I check automatic trim option, it trims the surfaces automatically. I mean it trims the rectangular surface and then creates the patch. But how? I mean if I select these curves and then I patch it and I uncheck automatic trim then it gives us an untrimmed surface. It gives us the rectangular surface, check this out, which is not trimmed. And this is the given surface. If we uncheck automatic trim, while well, the another one is trimmed. And if I untrim these, check this out, these two are similar to each other. So, this option trims the patch or the surface automatically according to the curves and then gives us a trimmed and regular surface. And note that we usually or maybe always check automatic trim. And if you didn't want it to be trimmed, you can uncheck automatic trim. So it gives you the untrimmed version. But about the uh, next option, which is adjust tangency. I'm gonna talk about adjust tangency. Here, suppose that we have such a geometry, a circle like this, then I extrude it. Check this out. We got a cylinder by this way. I press down F10. Let me explode it first, then I press down F10. Then I deform the cylinder by this way. After that, in the continuation, I'm gonna cover this part. I mean, I wanna cap it. I wanna cover the uh, top surface or top face. We can use a surface, but I'm gonna give it a try by using patch. I start the command of patch. Then I select the edges, I press down enter. Here if I check preview, check this out, the preview of the surface. But if I check adjust tangents and then check the preview, look. As you can see, the edges of the surface are tangent to the edges of the cylinder. This is what adjust tangency do or does. I mean, it models the surface in a manner that it will be tangent to the uh, solid. 
here if i click on ok in the rendered preview check this out here we can distinguish these two objects the surface and the cylinder it seems that the two are unified and you know it's sometimes being used and later we will consider it in the projects and as you saw when i used patch we didn't have curves at these parts look actually in the commands of surface creator like a surface patch and other commands that i will tell you in later we can use the edges of the surfaces or the solids or the curves as the modeling line when i start patch i use the perimeter curve as you can see for modeling the surface so you don't have to prepare a curve but let us wrap up it the session when we use patch firstly when we have a closed unplanar curve like this i move the control points almost i should say that the only approach is using patch as such a condition for, for closed planar curves i mean non-planar curves the only approach is using patch this was the first application of patch closed non-planar curves secondly you may want to create a surface out of more than four edges that edge surface does not support it like this example check this out in which we got more than four edges however it might be non-planar but here as you can see we got nearly five or six edges right now the geometry here is planar but i want to make it non-planar by this way i move the points then at this situation we can use patch so this is the second application of patch in which we got more than five edges i mean more than four for creating a surface that as i told you before you can use the auxiliary I'm sorry, the auxiliary lines to reach to your desired shape of your surface. Check this out and move it downward. Then I start patch. So firstly, in the closed non-planar curves. And then secondly, in the geometries in which we got more than four edges. And thirdly, in the condition that we can create our surface by using edge surface. We can't obtain our desired curve or the curved surface. Let me give you an example. Check this out. Here, as you can see, we got a four edges geometry we got four open curves so we can create our surface by using edge surface we don't need to use patch but i'm looking for a specific curved surface that edge surface is not capable of it by this way so as such a condition i can use patch uh let us try at first edge surface to show you the differences this is not what i was what i expected i needed more straight so a surface is not capable of creating such a surface or can't meet our my my needs so as a condition we should use patch since we can add auxiliary points or auxiliary lines like this as i told you before in the previous examples so i select the curves and then i start patch check this out for example this was one of uh, this is what i expected let us have a review firstly in closed non-planar curves secondly in f more than four edges and thirdly in the curves or in the geometries in which we got f f three or four curves but a surface can't or does not meet our needs creating a uh, curved surface and as i told you patch gives us trimmed surfaces so it is not that much practical so we use it when it was essential or necessary because we preferably used it on trim surfaces so we use patch when it only when it was essential for example if i show the control point of these surfaces check this out their control points are outside the care outside the surface as i told you we can use a command for fixing these which was shrink shrink trims surface to edge well done let's check them out they are better now from you know, better than before well done right now here if i untrim these surfaces let's check it out they return to their origin which is a rectangular surface since these surfaces are trimmed surfaces which are created by patch and as i told you before in some of the commands like twin surface i start the command of twin surface it does not support the 
trimmed surfaces so we will have some challenges so guys practice the each of the examples that i mentioned in this session don't forget to take notes mm -hmm.